Hello, Hello everyone. everyone. Welcome to Moments of Happiness. Today we are going to Disneyland, a fantasy place where magic happens. Finally, the day has come which my children were eagerly waiting for. They have been planning for this day since the time we decided we will go to Paris for a vacation. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe, like, comment and share. Come and join us with our kids in this wonderful journey. Look, somebody has woken up early in the morning. Yesterday we arrived in Paris and today we are going to Disneyland instead of Eiffel Tower only because of them. Disneyland is about 60 kilometers away from our Airbnb apartment. We will be taking two trains to reach there. The train is the fastest and cost effective way to travel in Paris. Return tickets for two adults and two children will cost us about 40 euros instead of taking a taxi or Uber which will cost us more than 100 euros. We'll be taking the train from Bicon Libreria to La Defense and from there we'll be taking the train to Manila Willy Cheesy. The journey is about 1 hour 15 minutes. Train is very comfortable and convenient if you are traveling with children. The last station, Maunela Willy Cheesy, has become mouse face to show that this is your destination for Disneyland. Once you have got down the train, uh, the station is not big enough. Uh, you don't really have to walk a lot. Uh, the park is actually situated uh, right outside uh, the station. Uh, there are signages and signboards around which can lead you uh, to the park. Uh, just in case uh, if you are uh, getting lost or if, uh, if the signages are confusing, you can uh, always take the help of the uh, people who are standing there. Uh, they are the staff from uh, Disneyland Paris. My kids' excitement level is off the roof. They are very energetic at the moment and their walking speed has increased as well. So here we are at the entrance. Uh, we thought of pre-booking our tickets uh, to avoid any long queues or delays uh, on site. Uh, so uh, what we have done is we have booked our ticket from a website called tickets.com. There's also an app for that. Uh, the link to the website is given below in the description. You can check it out. Uh, this website has given me a discount of 20% on each ticket. So, which uh, was not available on the official website of Disneyland. Uh, it also uh, shows you the days uh, where the price ticket will be expensive and when the price ticket will be cheaper. So uh, we took the cheapest uh, day as, as that was an add-on for us. Uh, since it's summer, uh, the, it is very crowded here. It hasn't changed a lot since we came last. We came here in 2015 when my son Rehan was only 4 years old. We came during the winter holiday in November. Rehan doesn't have any memory from his previous visit as he was too young. I hope he remembers this one now. But this is our princess 
first trip to Disneyland and she's super, super, super happy. So am I. coming to the park is not only experiencing it but it is also about capturing your memory at this place where you see on the background uh, with the Mickey Mouse face there is a spot right in front of it like a balcony there's a huge queue where people stand and take a picture uh, with Mickey Mouse face and the uh, structure the building of the Disneyland in the background it looks pretty crowded compared to last time uh, I suspect this is due to the summer vacation that children are having uh, all over the world. Uh, last time when we came it was November, it was cold and it was not that crowded. We have not even entered inside the premise of Disneyland. The first thing we did after entering the park is that we went to the shop straight away to buy the Mickey Mouse ears. It feels incomplete to come to Disneyland and don't wear Mickey ears. These adorable headbands are most loved by Disney fans due to their style but also the variety of options that are offered. Hundreds of different kinds of Mickey ears exist. Can you believe it that Disney has to actually fight off fake Disney ears manufacturer? <laughs> Indeed, there are too many options. Not only Azmina, even I am confused on which one to buy. After endless search and so many times trying different different hairbands, she has finally got the heaven that she wants to buy and she wants to wear it right now. Now we are blending in the groove. Time to explore the park. Disneyland has two parks now and they are called Walt Disney Studio Park and Disneyland Park. For now, we have taken only main Disneyland Park tickets as it has major rides and attractions. It is the place where you can meet and greet Disney characters and see the parades. Just for the fact, Disneyland is the most visited place in Europe. They have approximately 25,000 visitors from around the world every single day. This is an approximate figure however. We have a tight schedule, so we have taken only one day pass. But to tell you, one day is definitely not enough to explore. To explore, to take all the rides, to see the characters, you at least need two or three days pass. Disneyland has actually started the offer uh, of giving the park tickets in two, two, three categories. One is for single day pass and the other one is multiple day passes which you can find on their website. Since we have only one day, let's get started. Now we are entering the legend of the Wild West the Frontierland Fort walkthrough.
every theme land in the park has a shop uh, dedicated which sells the goodies as per the theme. So now we are going to our first ride, it is called Phantom Manor. It is a dark and scary ride attraction. <laughs> it looks like a scary room, but obviously less scary version, since children can also get on this ride. It has little frightening scene, but no ghost. The ghost residents are friendly, and ride is slow moving. Now we are going to a star attraction ride and it is one of the famous rides in Disneyland called as Big Thunder Mountain Ride. As expected, it has huge queue and the waiting time is approximately one hour, which is quite a big delay considering you have only 12 hours in the park. You will also have to consider at least 3 hours in your time frame for relaxing, hydrating and feeding yourself. So this is kind of expectation versus reality. Now we are going in Sleeping Beauty Castle. And wow, it looks so magical from inside. The details, the architecture, everything is so perfect. It looks really, really magical. This is Princess Aurora's Story Recreation Area. It is a small walkthrough on the upper level. It shows phases and important events of the story, along with the book and 3D models of characters. This is very vibrant and submerging experience. And look what we have here, a wishing well, kind of like a wishing fountain. Make a wish. I can see so many coins already here. Put a coin and make a wish. Oh my god, this staircase is really scary. Mind your steps. Ah, that famous King Arthur's ward. My children are trying very hard to pull the sword out but they don't know that it is bolted from underneath <laughs>
my kids excitement level are still very high they just don't want to stop and relax they are wanting to go on another ride and they are talking about exploring all the areas with each other well it's summer time and there's too much of crowd for each and every ride so i suggest you download the disneyland app which will show you the waiting time on each ride you can also purchase a premium pass to skip the long queues this will reduce your waiting time drastically if you need help please feel free to comment on this video it's time to turn my princess into disney princess Asmina wants to buy Princess Belle costume from Beauty and the Beast for her. Well, today they have 40% discount on the dresses. It is costing us 70 euros. But let me tell you, the quality of the dress is really good. We have bought many such dresses of various princesses from Amazon, but this is definitely far superior in terms of quality and worth the money. Look at my princess. The dress has ring and got many layers. It has lot of volume and it is off the shoulder tiered ball gown. This yellow gown is the most opulent dress Belle wears in the film. You will definitely see a lot of young girls which I am also seeing of young girls of my daughter's age. wearing the princess costume so you better keep that pocket full of yours after all this is the kind of adventure your children will definitely want in the last time There are hundreds of eatery and dining options throughout the park where they serve variety of food like it Mickey Mouse shape pizza pretzel cupcake etc but you have to be mindful that some of the eating places might close as early as 5:30 By the way don't miss Star Wars Hyperspace Mountain Look this is like a paradise for Star Wars fan You can customize and make your own lightsaber in the shop. This shop has actually some real cute collections of souvenirs. Well, coming to Disneyland is always mesmerizing and it gives you a lot of memory to cherish for years to come. However, it's 8 o'clock now and it's time to go back. We are exhausted but our kids are not. I'll tell you this once again. One day is definitely not enough. Uh for the next time we are planning to take at least 3 day pass for both the parks. Hopefully that time they will enjoy as much as they have enjoyed today. Time to say goodbye. goodbye.